Hi. Hello. My name is Lole, uh, she, her pronouns, and I identify as Aero. Nice. So what does that mean to you? Just that I don't seek out romance as something that I need in my life. Mm -hmm. And I suppose I, I relate to others differently and I don't really have the capacity for the kind of relationships that we're all socialised to want. Yeah. So how do you differentiate between the sort of relationship that you want or I guess like feel yourself forming and the ones that you just don't? Well I don't I don't really know. It's different levels of intimacy, I guess, and it's connecting with people without intentions. Mm. So like, things like sexual connection and just enjoy being with someone things things like you know sex and friendship and they they have overlaps but there's a whole other kind of dimension to romantic relationships that i don't really get yeah or have any desire for i just feel like people talk about being in relationships with others and having this thing with another person and i don't it doesn't resonate with me yeah. And I don't have a, a clear definition for what that is. There are some things that you think of as typically romantic that I don't actually have any problem with. Like? Like, you know, I don't know, candlelit dinners or hugs or even the idea of living with someone or sleeping with someone. But it's about what you define as romantic, I suppose. Yeah. So is it more about what you would do that other people would define as romantic or your own boundaries or what you feel is romantic and then you don't like? I don't know. I think it's a bit of a, a bit of both because I've had, there are things that I will do with close friends that are fine for me, but then it's the idea of going out and meeting someone and then that person wants those things straight away. Like the repulsion is there. Yeah. But then sometimes when I'm not really thinking about it, that kind of intimacy is fine. Mm. So I suppose there's a disconnect between like what I want and, and how it's supposed to be, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So like you've talked a bit about like the expectations society has for like romance and like romantic connection and that being the center of your life. Mm. Do you want to talk a bit about like how that affects you of kind of how you view that when that doesn't apply to you? It makes me feel really quite lonely. It's like I, I, f I feel aware that people look at me as though I'm missing something. Like when you're single it kind of means not in a relationship yet. Like you haven't yeah got this thing that you're supposed to have and if you don't have it there's something wrong with you nobody looks at me and, and thinks she's made a conscious choice to not be in a relationship yeah it's always that oh she's lonely because she's she's a loner she spends too much time at home and nobody wants her it, i don't i don't feel like respected or legitimate or like i can just say you know I have no desire to have a partner and I'm quite happy with my life the way it is. Yeah. Because I'm expected to kind of eventually partner up. Mm. Like what you're happy with is seen as a temporary state. Mm. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, bad. <laughs> bad <it does>. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything else that you want to kind of touch on? Or... I suppose family is a big thing. The idea of what a family looks like, I think, especially in the queer community, we feel like we've made a lot of progress, and we have, with what a family can look like, but there's still the nuclear template, Yeah. and your success, and your legitimacy as a family unit is judged by how well you fit into that template. Mm. There's no kind of anarchy, there's, there's nothing progressive about it. When you're still, you know, two parents, 
child and a dog <laughs> in a house and there's no one else like where, where where's the where's the radicalization where's the like community why can't it just be a totally different shape so what could family anarchy look like for you well for me i i wouldn't want to wait until i found that mythic other half in order to have a child because that might not ever happen for me so to, to be able to have a baby that was mine and someone else's but that someone else not be a partner in any kind of romantic sense yeah would be the ideal as far as i'm concerned